Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. There's some massive, massive, massive Celtic breaking news this afternoon. Make sure that you hit subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos. Now it has been said that we're going to make at least two sign-ins next week. Obviously the big news is that Jota will be leaving the building but the fact that Nicholson, what you have to remember with this deal, Michael Nicholson has made sure that we get the payment up front for Jota. There will be no other payments to be made. There will, it won't be a, paid up over a couple of years. There will be a massive payment up front and then there will be a future payment on a sell on clause. Apparently we're getting ready to make two deals. They're almost finalised but they will be made next week. There are also a massive, massive record transfer fee of a bid of around about £16 million for a player that Celtic could announce next week at the exact same time as the Jota deal. In other Celtic news, a lot of players that worked with the previous manager Ange Postacoglu have been told, yes the manager Brendan Rodgers has told fringe players to just hold onto their hats at the moment, he has no immediate plans to cull the squad. He's obviously just put pen to paper and the ink has dried on the Irishman's big deal at Celtic Park for three seasons. But he's inherited a strong, strong squad and it's maybe be a bloated squad, some people say, and there is a lot of players. And we'll talk about these players just now because there's a lot of players. And let's talk about the money that Celtic have made already this season. Obviously, we've got £5 million for Ange Postacoglu to go to Tottenham. Um, Aaron Moy, he's retired, so we won't get anything for him. The Jota deal, we're expecting at least 25 to £30 million for that one. Other players that are suggested may leave this summer is Adam Montgomery. Barkas, the crazy one, uh, it's crazy that we've let him go. Um, it's basically £5 million down the drain with that one, but he has left the building also. Other players that it says may leave are James McCarthy, but he is... He has a deal until 2025. Will the manager keep him around? Liam Scales is another player that Aberdeen are desperate to get their hands on. Will he stay? Is he a player that the manager might keep around and uh, try and make him a better player? Then you've got the madman that is Soro. Yes, Soro that was meant to be that crazy mid <laughs> midfield player that was going to terrorise the SPFL. He's, um, he's somewhat in a bit of a... Lingo at the moment, let's say, is um he's wondering about not sure where he wants to go. There are several teams after him. He did just turn down Panath and Icos. He does only have a year left on his contract, and I think you know, Celtic rather than trying to get money in the door for him, we'd be better just leaving him going. A lot of people have suggested that Turnbull might go, but he does also have a contract for another year, and it's been suggested that he might be allowed to leave this summer, but there is nothing specific. There's not been any allegations, there's not been any teams come forward for Turnbull. Um, I think he'll run out his contract and then probably leave for free. And then the one that everyone expected during the end of last season is Abada. And it's probably looked like in that Abada is the one player that might not go this summer. Obviously, Hatati has, has some interest around about him. And then there's the one with Kyogo. But it has been also suggested that the Celtic manager wants to get Kyogo tied up on a longer deal to keep him in place with Celtic for the next couple of seasons. And then obviously there's other clubs looking at Stephen Welsh also. And it's not sure what Stephen Welsh wants to do. It's expected this pre-season will sort of uh, start off tomorrow. We do have a massive kitty of £30 million to spend. It has been suggested that Celtic are looking to bring in a couple of players next week at the same time to soften the blow probably for our, for the Celtic fans to um, get the Jota deal out of the way, get the cash in the door and then spend the money almost instantly. Celtic obviously want to re retain the league this year and it would be a bad season if, if the Brendan Rodgers and his managerial career, if he did not retain the treble. Would it be bad for Brendan if he didn't retain the treble? After doing so the first time round, I think he will want to go out and he will want to put a marker down again this season. So tell me your thoughts in the comments. Tell me what you thought about the players that have came and gone. With the Jota deal just about done and dusted, it could be by the middle of this week we'll have made 35, 30 odd million pounds. 
before the first week in July, before they do their mad walks again on the 12th, as, uh, we will have coined it in and be ready to spend big again this summer. There won't be uh, a live this evening. I'm not going to do one this evening because there's not really much more news kicking about. I'm probably going to do one during the week because there'll be more information coming out about the deals that are imminent. So on that note, have a fantastic evening, Celtic fans. A new contract for Kyogo is an absolute no-brainer. We want to keep him at the club and so does Brendan Rodgers. So on that note, have a great evening, Celtic fans all around the world.